Hello, my brothers and my sisters. This is Param Benson with another one. First things first, I would like to thank our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for this opportunity that He gave us to work together as one team. Uh, this is one of the videos that you're going to want to keep in a safe place because you're going to need it all the times until you learn all the tricks and understand and memorize everything that I'm going to show you. Here we're going to concentrate on the playlist, the tools that you get on the playlist. That is why I say um, this is going to be a video that you're going to want to put aside because in this video I'm going to explain everything about the playlist. And it's very important because most of the times you're going to work on this playlist to arrange your show and to do things. Okay, first things first. Uh, let me just this the yeah. Okay, let's start here. Just look at your top left. Yeah, you see this. This is a snap grid. This thing that looks like a horseshoe magnet. It's a snap grid. When you click it, you will see none. One to six, one to four, one to three, and all that stuff in May. What does sell mean? Okay. You know most this these ones, you know, it's easy you already know, but sale means if you look at your snap grid here, this part of of, of, of dances, this part, you see there's lines here, lines, lines. One, two, three, four, five. See these are the lines. So what does snap grid mean? When you have chose sale, it means that when you move your it's like this it move according to the line you see so everything you're going to move is going to be moved according to the line. when you you look you see it's on this this is line when i move it back it goes straight to another line move it back straight to another so it keeps everything straight and into the line okay in the case we're just going to use two of them cell and none okay the none one you see, in this case, look at how it were. You see, I'm going to. You see. By the way, you are probably wondering how do I move this? Okay. If you look at your top left, you see this. It's a draw. It's a draw. It's a pencil, something like a pencil. You see here on the how it shows, it shows a pencil. You're going to want to use this all the time because this it's like a main tool yeah it is the one that i use so to move these clips you move it here and it turns like this when it turns like this you click and hold then you can move your clip you see click and hold you see yeah so you need to be careful you see where it is it does not turn but when it's here it turns then it says to you you can move up you see you can move your clip anywhere you want to move. You can move it anywhere you want to move it. Here also, you see, you can move it anywhere. But when it comes to the automation clips, look what it does. Here in the middle, it shows nothing. But when you put it, you see, yeah, move, you see. You can also use this pencil to create dots on the automation clip by just putting your mouse on the line of the automation clip which is this white line and right click you see you've created a dot so when you move it here when it shows this hand it says you're going to be able to move the dot so to move the dot you click and hold then you can move your dot wherever you want to move it while you are holding you see so you see my dot is moving freely it's a hands free why is it moving so hands free it is because on this horseshoe magnet on the snap grid snap to grid i chose none you see and if i create the dot why this is on none i'm going to be able to create it anywhere see like here i can create it between the lines it's not gonna be a problem let me show you Uh, it's too big now yeah i'm going to be able to create it between the lines and it's not gonna be a problem here like between these two lines i can create it by bringing the mouse here right click once you see 
I've created it between the lines and I've been able to move it where I want it anyway. But when it's on sale, I won't be able to create the dot between the lines. When I create the dot, it is automatically going to create it on the nearest line here. If I'm here, it's going to create it on the nearest line. If I'm here, it's going to create it on the nearest line. Let me show you. I'm here. You see, it puts exactly on the nearest line. And when I move it, it's not going. I'm not going to be able to put a dot between these two lines. As soon as I move it, it's going to go to another line. Click and hold. When I move it, you see, straight to another line. You see, straight to another line. You see, this one is useful when you want to things to be precisely on the line. You see, precisely on the line. So the non option is only when you want to form move, free move. Maybe you want to put it between the lines. It is helpful when you want to troubleshoot things like this. Let's say you want to kill. Let me show you. Yeah, it's useful when you want to kill things like this. Maybe you want to microscopically kill that sounds and you can use it like this. You see? So it's free, then you know you have killed only this sound. You have switched it off. You see? Nice. You see? So, but when it's on the cell, you can't do it like this. It's always going to hold you on the lines. You see, that is how it is. Don't forget, we said if you want to move, you need to make sure you have chose this. And, you see, when it changes into this, then you can move. Here, when it changes, then you can move. Okay. Now, the next one, this is the brush. This is a paint brush. A paintbrush is basically a paintbrush, like this. Don't forget we said if you want to capture this, you click once, then you can, you see. Or you can get it here by choosing, okay, I want to, I want to capture my victory. I click once, I have captured it, then I can put it everywhere. In this case, uh, the, okay, let me choose another because in this case, this audio, it's not here. So, William, one place, you see? Then I can, I have captured it, and I can put it anywhere I want. To capture an audio on your channel rack, you see? If I want to capture an audio, like now it's not. You see on my channel rack, I have multiple audios. But here, they are not here. If I want to capture one, come arrangement click where I want to, I, I've captured it, then I can place it where I want to by click, left clicking everywhere I want to click, see, okay, and also you can capture it from your left hand side, here are they, just click it once, you have captured it, then you can, you see, this one, click once, captured it, you see, yeah, like that, so this brush thing, if I've captured this small clip, you see how small it is, and you can also capture it from this. I've captured it, you see. But if I want to, like, you know, most, most of the like this, this is how it works. You see how the paintbrush works. You see, you can multiply, yeah. You click once and hold, click and hold, and then move, you see. That is how it works. But with a pencil, you can't do that. Let's see with the pencil. Click and hold. You see, it moves it. It moves it. This is a pencil tool. But with the paintbrush, left click and hold. You see? Then you can move all of them. You see? You see how it is? With the pencil, click and hold. You see? What does it does? It moves it. To move with the pencil also. With the paintbrush also you can move things. But it, it needs to turn like this. See, then you can move them. 
you see then you can move them this it works on the automation clips don't forget we said if you want to navigate the automation clips here and then you capture it by clicking it once and then you can put it wherever you want to put it but if it's long if it's a long thing like this one you won't be able to put it with a paintbrush you see because the paintbrush works from the end and the beginning and the end you see so in, if it's too long like this you won't be able to you see you just need to use a pencil then you can you see you only be able to use the paintbrush if they short things like this I capture it and then I can you see but this one I can't do it I capture it you see I can't why because it's too low the paintbrush it where it measures from the beginning and the end here you see I, I have captured this one so if I capture this one by clicking once on it I captured this you see but if I this one captured I have captured it by clicking once and if I you see it does not work but this one because here it's it's beginning and here it's end I capture it look you see you see so it works with the beginning and the end it needs to be it needs to be on the microscope like if I do this yeah it's that one it's too long okay now let's move to this round thing here this one so this one it's a, uh, a delete to delete this one is to delete but there's another option let's say you are using a pencil and you want to remove it's not actually it's not to delete it's just to remove something from the playlist but it does not mean that it delete it it just removes it if you have chosen a pencil and you want to remove something from the playlist you just right click on it right click on it and it's out and if you want to undo anything that you did mistakenly edit then undo you see let's say you make a mistake you remove this mistakenly just come to edit edit undo yes and to yeah that is it okay um yeah if you want to remove something you can also do it with the brush if you have chosen a brush and you want to remove this from the playlist you just come to it and right click on it remove it see this you can undo it okay but with this one you can left click on anything to remove it left click remove left click remove yeah. and you can click and hold click and left click and hold and then you can remove everything at once see undo left click and hold and you can remove everything at once you see undo left click and hold and remove everything at once you see yeah with this with this one just undo see this one it's for removing it's for delete but you only delete from the playlist and the other one this one is for mute this one it mutes let's say thank you very much my brothers and my sisters there's two ways to mute in the playlist by switching off the light when you switch off the light it means it mutes everything that is in this line everything that is in this line you see but let's say you don't want to mute everything that is in this line you just want to mute this first part you click the mute and then you click left click on it you see you have muted it and you can mute this other one also and you can move this other one you see you can also undo a mute undo 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 you see you want to mute this automation clip you see click on it once you see but if you want to unmute the whole row just click the light let's say you want to solo you want this thing to play alone but you have multiple tracks and you don't want to unmute by clicking one 
while what you see you don't want to do that what you can do you can come to the this one you want this one to play yellow you can right click on it on the slide once you see then what does what it do it automatically mutes everything that is on the playlist besides this one when you want to turn them back on again you just come again to this and right click and it turns on everything when you want to mute only this one right click you see when you want to unmute everything right click then it switches everything on okay let us move to the other one this one this one it's a, i don't know what to call it but let me show you it was basically like this thing okay let's say this is your clip you want to mm, okay let me, let's say this clip you want to make it shorter but you don't want to cut it then you can use this thing here you see what it does it opens it pulls everything you see see what it does you see that is its work click and hold you see that is its work the blade the blade is basically to cut you cut and then you remove with this delete thing you see you cut things that you do not want with this plate you cut here you see and you remove don't forget don't forget the snap to grid which is the social is very important if everything is here then you are free to cut anywhere if this thing is on none you are free to cut anyway you can cut this piece you can cut here you see you can cut between the lines and remove it with this you see or if you don't want to remove you can just mute it you see you can cut anyway okay. if it's on none mute or remove you see we just mute but if it's on sale you're going to cut according to the line let's say you want to cut from here to here but you don't want to make a mistake because if it's on that look how it cuts click and hold you see it cuts skew you see let's say you want to cut very straight you want to make sure everything is straight then you need to put it to sell then cut click and hold then you can cut everything straight you see while it's on sale sell it works according to the to the line you see it helps you to cut straight you see click and hold helps you to cut straight click and hold you see helps you to cut straight click and hold it works actually according to the line maybe to cut straight see then you can do whatever you want to do maybe you want to mute 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 you see or you want to delete 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 you see it depends on what you want to do what you have in mind this program is for creativity you see yeah this one is for selecting you select everything you see you can select by clicking here you see to remove this right click double right click oh my god what is doing yeah oh double click left double click yeah then it remove if you made my mistake by doing it at the black line you see just double click yeah but it is basically used to select let's say i want to move all these things like you see now i move they don't move together you see let's say i want to move everything together you choose the selector and then click and hold then you select what you want to select you highlight it there and then you come to here you see here and then you say group then you can group them so next time when you move them with a the pencil they move together you see you see you see or if you want to copy all of them 
Then let me uncoup. You see the grouped ones how they show. You see they show a link thing. Okay. Let me undo the group, undo the move, and undo the group. Okay. Let's say you want to copy these things. You want to copy them from here to another point. You just choose the selector. You select all of them. And you can come here in tools, ah, edit. You can copy, duplicate, delete or shift to left or shift to right as long as you have chose them you see yeah this one it's zoom you see click and hold zoom you see yeah if you have used it if you have used it by mistake don't forget you can come here and fix it the way you want it and also here and fix it the way you want it you see if you made a mistake like something like this you see, or something like this yeah you can still fix it by coming you see or here you see you see you see you see click and hold mouse yeah, click and hold okay that is how it is click and hold okay Yeah, let's say this thing. It, this is Thank the sensor. Much, my it senses us. everything. It's this one, it senses everything. While it's moving, it display. Let's say it's here. And you don't want... Every time when you play, it starts there. You see, every time when you start to play, it starts. Let's say you don't want it to start there anymore. You just double click here. And then it goes to the beginning. Or... You can just click anywhere here then it's gonna start there or here and it's gonna start there or here if you don't want it there just uh, but click. My sister, yeah so i want to stop stop anything that plays annoy just stop stop mm. and be careful here you don't do this if you do this Thank kind you of very things, much, these so things they're gonna play us. in some way you see make sure it always clean here is what moves everything make sure it's always clean okay yeah i think we basically come oh the last one this one it's like a speaker you listen when you want to listen to a clip without playing the whole thing you just click here and you left click you see left click and hold the clip that you want to listen love for you his grace for you i am so honored to be with but he you see or oh, here you want to listen let's say you want to listen to this one i want to thank you again i want to thank you again for supporting us um, you see that is how it is that is how it works so yeah this one is for play thank you very much my brothers and my sisters for stop joining us play. you see this is a brother play. Play. Pause. don't forget to capture yeah I have covered everything. Yeah, let's say you want when you play like now. And I am so honored. I am so 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 truly honored to be with you. You see, it's play. You see. Now you don't see it anymore. Let's say you want to move with this thing. You want every way it goes to see it. Click here. Switch on the light and play. See, it moves with it. You see? Yeah. If you mistakenly switch a light on here, which you're not supposed to switch on, just click on it, it will switch it off. Of if you have switched it by mistake. Because I I'd rather you leave everything on its default it's gonna make it easy for you or if you have another problem or anything that you want to ask me just whatsapp me and then i will be there to answer every question so thank you very much don't forget jesus loves you and he will bless you great